Hey guys, Reserving here, and back with more stories, The Path of Destinies. Uh, so I'm going to try to uh, complete the truce this time. I don't know if it'll happen. Uh, but like I said, I will try. I may look wounds closing. Ooh, we hope nothing else closed up that wasn't supposed to. Uh, the one I'm got the most trouble with is obviously the Zenobia one. Uh, because there's no doubt in my mind I'll get the truth of the uh, artifact here from this run. to be something useful in these things, didn't there? Ooh, or... Okay, full health, that works for me. And if I can go over here, there's a reason for it. the ice sword now. I can go through here. That is a very cool sword, thought Lara. And seriously, he couldn't feel his paw anymore. I love this game's sense of humor so much. Who also? Well, let's grab this chest while I'm here. It'll be a completely new path. Building these platforms was so expensive, they'd run out of budget for guardrails. A bit worried that I haven't run into any crows. Oh, we're up here already? Okay. So yeah, taking the doors definitely makes the pass shorter, that's for sure. And there they are. It's not a buff one, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I still don't know how I'm using perfect strikes or anything. I'm really just mashing the, the attack button. About the only strategic thing I know how to do is to a dash. Alright. And this should have a gem in it. Renato remembered when he'd first stolen one of these. Good times. Ooh, the treasure hunter's a good one if it does what I think what it does. Does what I think what it does. Grammar. This story would be killing me. Ooh, this must be another one of the journals. At school, we learned the gospel of the transcendent emperor, the last divinity to pierce the skies. He would banish the evil old gods and grant us the gift of time. He could admit one man, divine as he may be, create something as intricate as time? I have my own theory. I believe that time is a symptom rather than a gift. I'm convinced that on a cosmic scale, there is a pendulum motion between order and chaos. Starting to see where the Emperor went unhinged. The, trans the, the Transcendent Emperor ended chaos and started the age we live in. Age of cause and effect, of fact and logic. Time is merely the tapestry upon which these laws manifest themselves. This is the foundation for order's companion, entropy. From the age of chaos, when the old gods reign, Perception carries more weight than facts. Emotions can shape worlds, and time ceases to exist. Yet, yeah, emotions shaping worlds does not sound like a good thing to me. The age of order is ending. I am merely helping the inevitable. Entropy has been broken. Fate has been breached. The end of time is coming, and I shall embrace it. 
Emperor Isengrim the Third Secret Journal. So I found two of those now. What was really fun was hooking yourself onto a moving ship. Yeah, that I played that. That's really not that fun. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but it's not as fun as they're making out to be. All right, uh, up this way. Yep. Okay. Crumbling place. I'm going the right direction then. that sometimes I should be breaking that but it's not working uh, okay that part's working there we go must be weird hitboxes what's sworn that one was gonna crumble Why would anyone put his slinky collection in a strong box, thought Renato. Any magic slinkies? Oh, but there was something else. If they're in a strong box and kills tell their slinkies, yeah, they must be magic slinkies. That means they're not wrapped a over each other. Legendary weapon was exactly what the rebellion needed. They were outnumbered. The once kind emperor had become a tyrant. But his ravens stayed loyal, for he fed them his victims, and the other animals were too frightened to rebel. Renato shuddered at what the Emperor was trying to do. To bring back the lost gods, the Black Harvest, the Black Sun? Uh. No. He would stop that toad, no matter what the risk. I'm not the only one who sees the ground isn't here, right? Renato's path was clear. Let the scientists ensure the Sky Ripper was safe to use, bring it to the Rebel base, and then assault the Imperial fleet for the win. Uh, I... okay, why is it not loading? This was definitely better than pulling yourself up in a bucket. It's gonna make things difficult. <laughs> Around there. I really am confused as to why the ground did not load. I did it again. Why do I keep doing that? Warlock. Which I mean, it's knocked the edge, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, 
work on. Both of them. I know how to counter, I just suck at it. Granted, it might be a bit of input lag, because like Amorite is from external drive. But it's probably mostly my skill level. Oh no. You need to go. Actually, I don't think I've been to this area. Okay. Renato was thrilled. The scientists seemed to think he'd put the Sky Ripper together right. But one toad was worried. Yeah, he, the Sky Ripper could tear a hole in existence itself. There are invisible strings that tie the universe together. Uh, if the Sky Ripper cut one, the hole would widen and widen until our whole existence uh, fell into it. Another toad sighed. Uh, Irving still believes in string theory. At least go see Calaveras. Hmm, yeah, said the worried toad. He knows more than anyone else has forgotten about the Transcendent Emperor. Probably if a good idea. anyone could tell him how to use this weapon safely, it will be Calaveras. It was he who had told Renardo how to find it in the first place. But maybe he had to give up on using it as a weapon. Maybe he had to go to the secret rebel base and ask the generals there what he could do with a weapon that he dared not use. I know I've played a lot of the same levels over and over. But it's because, story-wise, these are the ones that appeal to me. Uh, so yeah, we're going to Calaveras again. Well, he should have known he'd have to consult Calaveras again. Excuse me. The scientists at the observatory were smart enough. But what did they know of the Transcendent Emperor? He hoped it wouldn't delay him too long. The rebels had scheduled the final battle soon. Every day they delayed risked the exposure of the secret base. And some soldiers were already drifting back to their homes and families. Calaveras would fix the Sky Ripper for him. And then, he would win the final battle. Maybe it was the cold, but after a few steps, Renato's optimism started to slump. What if Calaveras couldn't help? Did Renato dare use the Sky Ripper? Oh, he hated that he had chosen this path. It was so much simpler to rescue friends and attack enemies. Even if some of those friends were more trouble than his enemies, some of those enemies had been friends before and might be lovers after. No, okay, it wasn't all that much simpler, no. Or Physics that... made his brain hurt. That, at least he was sure of. I wonder if that uh, dialogue only exists because I've, I played <laughs> the first hey. path I did. Hey, a workbench! He could try out his new bling. <laughs> bling, really? Okay. Well, we had the gems. Let me see. Just do what I think it does. Works for me. I'm sure ore counts as rare. <laughs> I definitely want these two to be on permanently. 
Uh, all right. Renato wondered if his future self had commissioned these poles. I, I have nothing to say to that one. Hello, thank you for watching. Alright, that looks like the path we're supposed to go to, and this is very much an exploration game, so... What's over here? Ravens don't want to kill me, okay. Chest, uh, so it's worth coming over here, okay. Ooh, that's a lot of ore, okay. Good. The more ore I had, the better. Okay, slowly getting back up to max health. More ravens. Okay. I don't see explodey ones. I don't see a buffer, so that's good, but that one is buffed anyway, so that's bad. Get out of the way. Still a damage, not near as much as I would if I had stayed in there. Alright. Is there actually anything around here? Well, they really needed to redecorate anyway. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. Okay. I'm gonna assume that fire still there is bad. Might as well go to the ice one. Well, they answered the question I had in the previous stream. Ooh, what's there? Alright, so this will be new. One thing I really wish is that I could move the camera in closer. So I'd love to see these models more. Ooh, wind essence, I need that. I need that, so that's good. All right, so I need 12 wind essence total. Renato wondered what would happen if he jumped. Would he be rescued by an emergency platform? All right, I need to get rid of that buff one. But I still have to figure out if there's a way to lock on, and there's two buff ones, really? to focus on the now. The ravens who seemed everywhere all the time, where did they hatch from? Were there giant raven hatcheries somewhere, or did they have families? Ooh, he didn't want to think about raven mummies raising their darling raven chicks. Yeah, Calveras would help. He would make Renato feel better about using the Sky River, and then Renato wouldn't have to worry about ravens ever again. Need to kill you fast. Oh 
okay, not fast enough. And I'm probably gonna die on this one. I saw another buffer, but I didn't see where it went. Well, you should see the other guys. I don't know how I survived that. Alright, what's over here? Okay, I cannot do anything there. So, these both lead to the same place. Alright. Or not. Apples, please. Thank you. I will say this is a pretty well-balanced game overall. That works for me. Alright. And I go this way now, and this will presumably take me where I want to go. Can't even get rid of the blood on the screen at this point. All right. I don't remember it doing that before. Probably just missed it. through this part before, I just don't remember <laughs> what to do. Which is pathetic, considering I literally played it two days ago. <laughs> Since what? I don't really like the sound of sword made in the air. Okay, I get it. I wasn't hit anything. Follow my nose, thought Renato. We're not looking for cereal. Ooh, another. 
a scroll. Uh, read. Dear Zenobia, do you remember that expedition I have sent to the depths beneath the islands? They have returned. Well, three ships have returned out of the eight I sent. Of course I mourn the losses, but the knowledge the survivors brought back is invaluable. What they have experienced is incredible. The air gradually grows denser and more turbulent until it becomes a suffocating, bone-crushing thunderstorm. The islands. The islands keep stretching for miles below the surface, and they have roots that radiate downward far beyond sight. The islands are alive. This is the proof I was looking for. The thick air of the depths keeps them afloat. In the depths they find their sustenance. Do they have a conscience? Uh, if it, he's talking about what I think he is, no they don't. Are they aware of our existence? Yes. Or are we merely parasites that they ignore or tolerate? I must prepare another expedition. This time I'll go myself. I need to see this wondrous world of the endless deep sky. I hope you will visit me before I leave. I'd like to hear more about that new friend of yours, Renardo. With love, Father. So, she wrote to him at the sword school. Okay. Okay, so I need to open you so you shoot the crystals. Close you so I don't get hit. He'd once met a pirate captain. He used hooks to get around his ship. Oh, what was his name again? <laughs> ah, so many fun references. Ooh, that's a lot of buffed ones. Ow. I really should be using the Warlocks more to my advantage, but I don't feel confident that I can actually manage that and not die. Not that I'm probably not going to die here anyway, but still. I don't know how I survived. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 hey. Goodbye. Ah, I love the references. Got me something good in these chests. Hey, there's actually two of them this time. Window familiar. Had he lost this one in a card game? Okay, Welcome elemental back, resistance is good against warlocks. Shield breaker is leveled up, so that's good. Inanimate objects. I've seen this is the same trick as before. Yep, alright. Uh, there we go. Renato had sacrificed a friend for the Skyrim. It would be worth it if he could bring a super weapon to the rebellion, but the scientists had ruined everything. question is, since I'll get a third truth for sure this time, uh, 
Should I work on something else, or should I wait? Hmm. Hook damage on hooked enemies. I don't really have a reason for that anymore. And the speed one really doesn't matter. Uh, dash. It doesn't work on shield ones, not that useful. But it will, can be upgrade be used on shield ones. Hmm. That's a maybe. Uh, what's this? Run faster. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's start on this line. I'm curious. Nope. Could not go into his house. Calaveras had never let him down. Yeah, of, of course I can make it work better. But when Renato explained about the strings, Calaveras grew thoughtful. Oh, the strings, you say? Well, the Arcana do speak of the ties that bind the world. He drew many intricate symbols in the dirt. Yeah, so, um, according to my calculations, uh, each time you fire, I'm afraid there's a 1 in 120 chance you'll destroy the universe. That's pretty good odds. That's like rolling, what, 21 dice and they all come up six. What are the odds of that? He just said the odds. No! It's more like 2.71 sixes in a row. Anyway, with those odds, it won't happen if I use it just once. What? No, 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 no. That, that, that's so not right. Each time you use it... Thank you. Right, look, just don't use it ever at all, okay? All right, I guess. As he sailed away from the mountains... Bernardo could see clouds darkening. Rain? No. Ships. Imperial ships, swarming thick as bees. This was it. The big battle. They could not afford to lose this one. What if it did not go well? What if he had to use the Sky Ripper? Could he gamble the universe? On the other hand, what were the odds of rolling 21 sixes in a row? Reynardo seems to have fallen into the gambler's fallacy. The odds don't reset. <laughs> it's always the same odds. And there's always a chance you'll get that very rare one. <sighs> the battle was not going spectacularly well. What had the rebels been thinking? Okay, some force. They'd been thinking he would bring the Sky Ripper, or the Iblis Stone, or that he'd sideline Zenobia somehow, or turn her. Couldn't he use the Sky Ripper just once? After all, if chances were one in 128, that meant he'd for sure be okay the first time. That's not how it works. It'd get worse each time he used it, but the first time would be okay, right? He wasn't sure that it was right. So he didn't fire the Sky Ripper. He just brought it along, in case. That's like the people who had the lucky dice that they've rolled so many times until it got the... You couldn't go of sticking luck. jewels in your gauntlet just anywhere. What if you dropped one and broke it? Luckily, there was a bench right here. Alright. I don't think I'm going to be changing at the moment, but... At least take a look. Increases spell damage by 20%. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's not what I want right now. So yeah, the energy on kill is the best for now. So clearly this is going to end up destroying the universe. Go that way. No reason to use the altar. I think it's probably something over here. Uh, yep, there we go. Oh, 
Well, I can definitely you upgrade the, the portal the ice. right into the middle of the fleet. It is a glaring weakness in the defense. Dude, that was a buff bomb. I mean, I've seen that before, but I didn't realize what it was the first time. <laughs> Okay, see, it didn't it load at first, but at least it actually loaded that time. I was practically sure he'd find something useful in one of these things. No, I just look freaking boxes. I play Zelda. And once it's on the Switch, I'll probably play Dark Souls. And I know you can destroy a bunch of boxes there. First, I still know that's energy from this. From the thing behind me, or if that's just something that happens. Either way, it scares me every time it does that. <laughs> you shall not pass. No, I'm surprised it took that long for a Lord of the Rings reference. Now that the level ups actually seem to be happening faster than before. <laughs> you think it would get slower as it goes on. But it's definitely been balanced to make it work. He wished there were more pylons he could use the hook on. He really needed to construct additional pylons. Thank you for standing in the fire buff guy. Makes my job easier. Good thing Renato didn't have vertigo. I walk into that one. Boom to your doom. Someone had told him the odds didn't change just because you'd had a streak of good luck. Thank His gut you. told him that was wrong, though. And he always listened to his gut. On the other hand, 128 chances to win, but one of them would destroy the universe. Ooh, that seemed a bit serious. Yeah, there's no guarantee you won't Maybe get that one on the first time. Maybe he could defeat the Emperor without firing the Skyripper. Maybe he could bluff, but with a real weapon. Like in cards, when you had three names, but you pretended you had a Fizzbin. That could work. I know what the three names are. I don't know what Fizzbin means. Got on this within two tries that time.
That's giving me a lot of energy for this time. I remember this. Forgot about the last one. So he's definitely going to destroy the universe. He's died in every ending so far. I'm pretty sure that's a theme. Uh huh. That's where I need to be. Got it. The endings keep changing, so I'm never sure. This does show exactly how much you can do with uh, one level, but just by changing the paths. Trying to get out of there, and obviously that did not work. Up, oh, cutscene. He set up the Sky Ripper. And let it warm up. He would bluff if he had it's to. Like a small death Zenobia star. came out, flanked by a very daunting platoon of ravens. You won't actually use that, she said in that annoying, I know everything because I'm a cat and you know nothing because you're just a fox voice she had. <laughs> or I know the odds. Good. Because there's a real chance you could destroy the universe. No, not the first time I use it. The odds are too low. That's not That's, how it works. Uh, no. Yeah, sure. The first time. The odds are practically nothing. They only go up if I use it a bunch more times. That's not how no, odds work. That's not how odds work. Didn't you pay attention in class? Now surrender, or I'll use it. Just once, he said. Don't. He felt sure the odds were with him. You have to go with his gut. That's what heroes do. Fire, he said. Please? The Sky Ripper fired. With a tremendous whoosh. The Emperor's flagship went up in flames. It was awesome. And then he noticed there was a hole in the air. A blackness like a tear in a parchment. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger and even larger. Crates fell upwards into it, and the world itself seemed bent like the reflection on a curved mirror as it poured into the ravenous hole. Oh, one in a hundred and twenty-eight. What are the odds? Thought Fernando, and then everything fell into the hole and was gone. And just like that, he was alive again, and back on the Farfarer, still fleeing burning Ubar. The book was still open before him. So... The book was a portal. It took you to the future when your destinies would branch. He had failed and died three times. But he learned another true thing. The core was powerful, but dangerous if used improperly. I am amazed uh, that 
there was no don't tell me the odds trophy. Okay. A hero who is willing to risk space, time, the universe, and everything if the odds are in his favor. That reward doesn't really do me any good. <laughs> New truth revealed. Skyper core is unstable. Tier 4 skills unlocked. Now how do I get the last truth? It's Zenobia. I can tell just by looking at the thing that Zenobia is the last truth. Pretty sure I know what the truth is. It's how I get it is it's what's confusing me. It may overlap with uh, the rabbit. I'm not sure. So I have to get an ending that's within that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or eleven. Any of those endings should unlock the last truth if I'm reading this right. But he was like starting to feel like he was getting the hang of this. There was a way through to victory. He could feel it. He just had to keep running the path of destinies. With that, the book fluttered back to the beginning, and he fell into it. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. No. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Okay, so I have to choose one of these no matter what. I was really hoping it would unlock a fourth choice. Uh, the one that seems best to do is probably uh, Lapino. Ah, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. Lapino's frantic message said that the ravens were going to kill him for being a rebel spy. And that he had a clever plan. If the fleet reached him first, They'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Or so Lapino had told him over the far speaker anyway. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? So they go up here. Once they appear once, they can appear again no matter what. The shield ones did not appear the first time. And the buff one definitely did not. Enough with the buffing! The Ravens uh. had taken the town. 
Renato had seen villages emptied like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. Okay, workbench there. Okay, I don't know why I never went down this way before. Probably... Oh, no, I actually can make it. Okay. Yeah. Point blade. There we go. From the mystical east could make time itself slow for you. All right, that gives me each sword. I was wrong about being able to upgrade them too. Okay. I I want to stick with the hero sword. I like the healing ability. Slow down time one is nice, but I prefer the healing. wrap around the same way, so... Renato oh, looked around the empty you. village and reflected. The Sky Ripper had turned out to be far too dangerous to be used. Time to turn to what he knew best. If they didn't want their things broken, they really ought to make them stronger. Alright, what's down here? Than probably first two. This is really a stable. Wind essence, water essence, elemental resistance leveled up. I don't know what the max level for the gems is. My guess would be three, but they might max it too. I honestly don't know. Um, okay, I was in the ground. I don't know why I was in the ground. the same way. Uh, sure remember that. Ooh, okay. Not grab you. to shrink down to the size of an ant. What was that all about, anyway? I don't know if it's an Ant-Man reference or a Zelda reference. <laughs> yeah, I'm going down the well. Everywhere. 
the advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Well, unless he really was a traitor. Obviously. He is. Then they'd probably pin a medal on his chest. Alright, so I bypassed that part. And I have the void sword, so I can do this. Ah, the road less traveled, Fortunato. How intriguing. Is this sword? Is it a key? That must be for opening one of each type of gate. Really? No battle. Okay. Dear Zenobia, how are you enjoying the Academy? New friends must already be flocking around you, no doubt. Here, in the palace, things are the same. I have much time to dedicate to my special hobby. I've been collaborating with Professor Calaveras and his team of experts to investigate the nature of the islands. My gut is telling me that the islands are alive. I think they have a will of their own. Do you hear me, daughter? Our world would be more than floating masses of rock and water. Professor Calaveras and his boys have made measurements. The islands are drifting, surrounded by the endless sky. It is difficult to notice. But through careful measurements of the wind over long periods of time, they are certain the islands are moving westward. But where to? It may take centuries, millennia, to reach the destination. But a strange idea. What the islands are some sort of herd, and that they are deliberately searching for another herd of islands. Can you imagine new islands with their own inhabitants? I thought that we may not be alone. If only I could live long enough to witness the event. With love, father. Okay, so he starts out just curious. This is obviously the first of the of the entries. This jewel was more than sparkling. It had arcane power and an engraving. To Cindy. I'm sure it's a reference to something, but I don't know what. Uh -huh. Dirty and bloody, Renardo finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I've got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We... Captures Zenobia, we find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. I'm pretty sure no matter what, I have to go to Zenobia to get the truth. So, that's where we're going. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. And you're still mad for her, the rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Of course, I don't want to. I'm pretty sure I have to take her to the interrogators to get this truth. I really want to get the last truth. 
There might be ways around it after doing that, but I'm not sure. The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Okay, I didn't think there was anything there, but I want to double check. Right, you guys. Oh wait, no, that's just fires, but never mind. I thought that was the light eyeball, but guys. <laughs> This was the nice part of town, but the ravens had been through here. They like to take shiny things home to their nests. Alright, that'll work. So I don't have any points to spend. Sandcastles, but he was too. Okay, workbench. So we got the crit gem. 10% chance to deal double, double damage. That's also a good one. Mental resistance. But for now, I want to keep what I have. Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. Oh, I'm hot enough. I think I'm supposed to be using this to bypass it, but I don't really have to. <laughs> This couldn't be good for global warming. Okay, crew, chance to level two. urging him to capture Zenobia. Uh, obviously it was a trap. But you never knew how Lupino thought. 
Sometimes his plans were so convoluted they did the exact opposite to what Lupino wanted. Yeah, there must be some way to play on that, Renardo thought. All right, let's jump down to the sewer. Really, no comments on this one. Okay, there's the things I was worried about. Turn around, please. Thank you. These things can really I don't use know a how hand. I ended up in front of him. I did not mean to do that, but it works. Shield breaker level three. Okay, level three is the max then, because it just got the trophy earned bling master. Didn't mean to do that, but it ended up working out. I see a void door. So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lupino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lupino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? thought Renardo. We're not doing the schemes because I want to explore more. Oh, go ahead. I'm sure you know better, said Lapino. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to go through the void door if I uh, did that. What's behind door number two? had a castle he was going to hide his stuff better oh i got more energy on kills now dear zenobia as you read this letter you are locked in your chambers ready to spend your last night before well you know i will not apologize i know you are too proud to forgive me i also know you won't resist reading through you are a cat as much as i have tried to educate you like a proper toad i swear to you and you have to believe me that i did not plan all this when i adopted you You've always been my special little kitten. That's why I'm writing this now, weeks in advance. I know I will not have the heart to do it the night of the sacrifice. If I think of you as my daughter, then I may change my mind. You must think I am selfish, and yes, I am selfish. Sad little toad that is afraid to die. But what I'm doing will ultimately serve the greater good, and the, I want the power, I want it all, and so I will keep my subjects content. Peace for eternity. Even if you hate me now, you can still respect that have to. It's the only way I can forgive myself for doing this to you. I will miss you for eternity. Tomorrow, try not to make a scene. Everyone will be watching. Still, with love, Father. So he locked her in her room. She's probably going to try to warn people. Alright. That feels like I have to have had the Void Sword to uh, be able to get her truth, but I'm not 100% on that. You guys ever wonder why the Imperial Ravens are always hiring? Not you. Ah, oh, you managed to buff three people. That's annoying. Great, I killed two of them already, but still. Oh, I see you. And I'm glitched. Oh no, the 
buff wears off after a certain amount of time. Okay. I just didn't kind of kill any fast enough to know that before. What was it again? It's a completely new area to me. Oh, I get it. I'll be able to talk to her now, probably. Because I'm sure this purple ship is hers. Renato slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. Where were her guards? Finally, he reached her bedroom. She was curled up on her bed. Oh, he'd forgotten how beautiful cat. she was. How sleek. How soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She became smoke. And he noticed he had a blade to his throat. Stay a while. Heard a familiar voice. Did you really think you could capture me? Zenobia said as her ship lifted off. Now I just want us in privacy. Renato said. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? And he told her why. His Imperial Majesty wanted to bring the lost gods back. They could make him immortal. But to seal the bargain, he needed a sacrifice. Someone who truly loved him. Was not expecting You're that to lying. be the truth. She was furious. You can't prove that. I can. And so they set sail for the Nexus. Okay, completely new path. All right, so this was what I had to do. I had to reject Lapine, Lapino, yeah, Lapino, and then, uh... This way, I travel with her without Lapino getting in the way. The scientists at the observatory have resurrected one of his victims. Well, he's not exactly alive, but it can talk, and it can't lie. You took a big risk. You know, I could just cast a spell to make you tell me where the rebel base is. And you wouldn't consider that cheating? She frowned. Ugh, fine. Let's go get your witness. She has honor, <laughs> so she wouldn't do that. The rebellion Got it. had started after atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Yeah. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. Ugh. All right. Max that out. This. That could be useful. I think I'm on the path where I'll get the Zenobia truth no matter what now. That was weird. I know why that one happened. That's because I happened to get stuck on geometry, but still, it was weird. Yeah, okay, this is where I want to go first. Don't look down, he thought. What's the ice walk been through already or not? I don't really care. All right.
Rose and the Fox. I assume that's for killing so many crows. Caught up with him. Don't you think I'd know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you want to join in? Oh, no, no, I'd destroy his books and. Oh. All right, I suppose I wouldn't. She stopped, troubled. He ran on. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she probably yeah. pointed betray her father no matter what, because, I mean, it is still her father. The only bad thing we know that he's done... Running out of Pox, the only bad thing we uh, know that he's done is lock her in her uh, chamber. That's as far as she knows. Obviously, we know he's done more than that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Scientists on this island had been investigating the Emperor's dark ritual on their own. They were neutral in the civil war engulfing the Empire, but they could see that the dark magics the old toad had loosed were changing the world. Bernardo hoped he and Zenobia weren't putting them in danger. I really need Energy stuff. cannons. The last argument of kings. Now, I think. Trying to go. There. charge for all the holes in his clothes. Yes, because that's what's important right now. <laughs> Faith, said the inscription. Yeah, not doing that. <laughs> Ooh, this wasn't burned down the last time I was here.
The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared around, shocked. The scientists had been neutral. They had no part in the rebellion. Take me to your council, she said, shaken. I have things to tell them. It was what Renato had gambled on. The Zenobia would turn against her father once she knew his madness. But the rebel base was secret. Could he really risk taking the Emperor's daughter there? Doesn't matter, we're doing it. Renato reached the Pino by far speaker toad. The one creature the Ravens had left alive at the observatory. Lapino seemed awfully anxious to meet him at the secret base. If he was a spy for the Empire, he'd turn around and reveal the coordinates to the Empire, jeopardizing the entire rebellion. But Renato couldn't bear to think that Lapino would commit such horrible treachery. They were still good in the Mad Rabbit. He felt sure of it. Uh-huh. I'll meet up with you at the base, Lapino said through the toad. Good thinking. Renato gave him the coordinates. There's a shuttle here I can, uh, borrow. Renato found Zenobia in the chart room. I've been having awful dreams, she said. Dead kittens and oh, worse. I thought there were only dreams, you know. Why would anyone want the lost gods back? In those days, the favorite of a god could become immortal. Yeah, she but herself. that doesn't necessarily mean they were still the same person. He wants to become an eater of souls. Yep, that's well, kind of what I expected. Done. Just tying a boredom. <laughs> Renato said, but she didn't laugh. Silence fell as they flew towards the ruins of the city of Ubar, where the rebellion leadership was hiding. If so Zenobia couldn't help stone. them fight off her father, no one could. As they touched the ground, he could smell the ravens and hear their hungry calls in the distance. They're probably looking for me, she said. You go on ahead. She had that fiery look in her eyes that he'd always loved. It was a bit odd, though, how easy she'd been to convince. It was what he'd gambled on, but he'd expected more of an argument. She'd always loved to argue. She considered it the fastest way to the truth. Maybe she'd long suspected the truth. Sometimes all it took was taking the bandages from your eyes. That must be it, he told himself. I'm very curious here. That's how you know this is a British game, because that pun really only works with a British accent. <laughs>
I, I honestly don't know what I was doing there. They caught their breath under a ruined arch. It's beautiful, she said. This was the library of Ubar, he said. Your father's ravens thought they had an ancient book. She nodded. Was she crying? This was exactly what I wanted, Renata thought. To turn her to our cause. So, why do I feel something is terribly wrong? Because nothing ever goes this smoothly, is why. Oh, I'm sure there's something, I just don't know what it is. Uh... Ah. There's the library. No, not those things. Let's just do they turn the corner. They do not. Good. That makes things easier. Show your and close your eye. Boy, if looks could kill. In this case, they can, Renardo. Alright, so what does this switch do? It opens that gate that I did not see. Okay. <laughs> Trying to overlap. Oh, it's timed? That's annoying. Very cautious on this because I don't know their paths. I definitely would have been seen there. Okay. just for a catharsis than anything else. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far, so good. Oops, I... Ah. Trying to get rid of you. There we go.
to heal first, though. All right. Or I could go that way, he thought. Mental resistance is maxed out. Council toads swarmed around Zenobia, shocked she was there, shocked she had changed sides. Then the walls exploded. He heard toads croaking. Glorious oh, discover. Blackbirds were pouring through holes everywhere. It's a trap! Cried the council speaker. Kind of expected that, but still annoying. He saw flashes of magic. Then Zenobia being hustled off by Imperial troops. So. She had betrayed him after all. Renato ran for his ship. The Farfarer flew into the clouds, barely losing the Imperial Ravens pursuing him. The rebellion was lost. And he had lost it. There was nothing to do but find Zenobia and make her pay for her treachery. His heart ached. He still loved her. But he had trusted her and he had been a fool. She would be back at the fleet, gloating with her mad, bloodthirsty father. For all Renardo knew, she was helping him bring back the old, lost gods back from their exile. I don't think she's doing that, but I'm not sure. That's not the end, because he didn't die. Renato landed in the middle of the Imperial fleet. The rebels were losing badly. Without leadership, it was a slaughter. Renato felt strangely free, trying not to think about how he had lost the war, trying not to think about how he had loved Zenobia, and blinded himself to her treachery. That's what it meant to be a hero, to keep on fighting after the most bitter of betrayals, to never know if you could trust anyone Cats, what a waste of fur. All right, still looking for that door. So I'm sure I have the option to go through. There it is. All right. Actually, do I? Oh no, I could teleport. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. Okay, yeah, I know it's the wrong sword. There was a pleasant breeze coming through that door. Had it been closed before? Because it's a wind element. <laughs> is that what that was? It was because there's snow here. Because both work. Critical chance is maxed. here, I think. There you are. She tried. You're hooked. If 
that definitely makes this a faster way through that level. Uh, I think. What had happened to Lepino? Had the mad rabbit fled to safety? Or was he forlornly carrying on like the few rebels Ronaldo could see here or there? Oh, it didn't matter anymore. All there was was slash and spin, parry and lunge, over and over as he fought his way across the fleet. All there was was finding the girl he'd once loved, who had used his love against him and putting as big a hole in her heart as she'd left in his. Okay. Might want some therapy there. I'm well aware that I should not have survived that. Alright, cannon dodge. Remember that there's the last one this time. Still scares me every time. I think I'm managing to counter them, but honestly, not certain. And I am dead. Thankfully, this game is very forgiving. Yep, okay. I've never got a trophy for going through a path without dying, that's for sure. I think that's a trophy anyway. The reaction might be without getting hurt, which is actually even harder. That's one of the two. Oh, I am counting because the time is freezing there. Got it. Okay.
Alright, this is where I died during the peaceful path. So I'm sure he dies here. And suddenly Zenobia was there, advancing a Lapino. So the mad rabbit had survived. Save me, or I'm done for! Screamed Lapino. Zenobia turned, showing her teeth in a smile. You're alive! Renato ran towards the witch. Lapino's the one who betrayed you! She shouted. He warned my father! That makes Before more sense. He could think, Renato sank his sword into the sorceress. You idiot. She stared at him. Heart broken. No! Lapino's the traitor! Renato had an awful, sinking feeling in his stomach. Then, he felt a knife in his back. I'm afraid she's right, said the mad rabbit. Ain't I a stinker? Then, the sun went out. Damn it. Okay, so... And he hadn't learned anything new this time. Ah. He'd done the same thing twice, yet expected a different outcome. Hero keeps on fighting even for the most bitter of betrayals. Huh. I felt so sure I had that. I honestly don't know how to get to that second one. Truthfinder will help you find the paths that lead to truth you have not found yet. I wish I knew about that earlier. All right, well, we'll be using the uh, truth finder. So there would be a way to win. Renato could feel it. He'd have to explore choices he'd never made before he could figure it all out, though. And with that, the book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again. And he fell. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renato knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong, but he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone. Number one, I have to start there. with one of these three. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it, to take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Okay, so is it if I view stories, is that how that works? It doesn't look like that's how it works. Options. It's under controls. No. I don't see anything like that in here. May have to quit the main menu first. I don't, I'm not going to use a guide, but if there's tools within the game itself, I will use those. 
options, still not seeing it. Clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. They, however, need a guide to figure out how to use the truth finder. <laughs> Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? So the question is, how do I do the truth finder? Because at this point, I, I might as well complete this. I, I have just that one truth left. And any one 6 through 11 will do it. We have the truth, Pino is a traitor, it will still corrupt anyone who uses it, and the Skyripper core is unstable. I have a feeling I know what the truth is for Zenobia, I just don't know how to get to it. <laughs> I know it's hot, but I really need you to work. <laughs> and I am uh, going to apologize for uh, the mic hitting because uh, I have a fan here and that's what that is. Okay, so it looks like I'm not the only one who has trouble with it. Oh, come on. You know what, this is going to take me a bit. I'm going to stop the stream here, and I will be back later, because I want to finish this. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Have a great time, wherever you may be. Bye, guys.